Hi friends! Microsoft Excel comes with multiple lookup and reference functions that let you find matching values in a worksheet. Do you want to know how you can use these functions? Let's see how. For demo purpose, we are showing the steps in Excel 2013. Open Excel 2013 and then open the sheet you want. The VLOOKUP or Vertical Lookup function looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from another column you specify. Click on B2 cell and then type equals VLOOKUP open parentheses select the lookup value which is A2 here comma select table array which is D4 colon F7 here and then add dollar signs in table array value as shown on the screen comma enter col index number which is 3 comma false to return an exact match. Close parentheses and then press the enter key. Drag the VLOOKUP function in cell B2 down up to cell B1. When we drag the VLOOKUP function down, the absolute reference, which is dollar sign D dollar sign 4 colon dollar sign F dollar sign 7 stays the same, while the relative reference A2 changes to A3, A4, A5, etc. Now let's go to sheet 2 to see how HLOOKUP function works. The HLOOKUP or horizontal lookup functions in the same way as the VLOOKUP function. Click on B2 cell and then type equals HLOOKUP open parentheses select the lookup value which is A2 here comma select table array which is D3 colon H5 here and then add dollar signs in table array value as shown on the screen comma enter col index number which is 3 comma false to return an exact match close parentheses and then press the enter key drag the HLOOKUP function in cell B2 down up to cell B10 now go to the sheet 3 to see how the match function works. Click on B1 cell and then type equals match open parentheses select the lookup value which is A1 here comma table array which is D4 colon D8 here and then add dollar signs in table array value as shown on the screen comma match type 0 to return an exact match close parentheses and then press the enter key. Drag the match function in cell B1 down up to cell B11. Hope this was easy to follow. Thanks for watching. For more details, click on the i icon on the top right of the video. Check out our iYogi channel for self help videos on Windows, Mac, smartphones, security, social media, and much more. Have something to ask or share? Pen it down in the comments. To get iYogi tech support, dial toll-free numbers. To stay empowered technically, subscribe to our channel.